What is going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and I and my beautiful wife are here in Greenville, South Carolina with our friends Reagan and Wesley. We're gonna hit up a couple thrift stores, some Amazon Overstock stores, some Goodwill Bin stores. It's gonna be a complete day of thrifting. I need to turn around before I fall. Stay tuned. All right, Miracle Hill. I'm gonna go ahead and get a buggy. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you guys call these? Buggies, carts, trolleys? Let me know. First pair of shoes I found was this pair of clogs, women's like nursing shoes. They were in excellent condition and I think these were only $4. Picked up these Nike athletic running shoes, really great condition, really cool colorway, great size. I think these were a 9.5. I'm not sure if they're men's or women's though. I need to look up the exact model number, but everything about these was great and I think they were only $7. I found these super cool Puma suede Barbie edition women's shoes. I think they were a smaller size, maybe like a six or six and a half. They were also $8, but I took a chance on these. I think I could probably get about 40 for these. Found this really cool pair of New Balance fresh foam running shoes. These were in really good condition, a good size, only $4. Definitely went ahead and picked those up. I should be able to get about $30 for them. A killer find right here for sure. This is a pair of Sorel snow boots. These should sell for close to $50. Six bucks for surreal boots. Oh my gosh. Man. Haley just picked insane up. Isn't bad. No, insane isn't good. Like okay. these Nike Zooms are seven dollars, which is kind of expensive, but then not then you got Sorel boots for six bucks. It's crazy. Yeah, these are in good shape. They just need a little magic eraser on the on the edges. They look like a kid's size though. So this is US size seven. I think that's women's size seven. That's cool. All right, guys, so I'm at the puzzles, and I always look for things that are sealed because it's so hard to find sealed ones. And I saw this. It's sealed, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is a photo mosaics puzzle of Princess Diana. Still sealed. I'm super excited to scan this and see what it's worth. Man, I thought this was going to be way better. I mean, there's some 22 bucks free shipping, 20 bucks free shipping, 19 10 plus shipping. And this is $4.50, so I'm going to put it back. Man, I really thought I really thought that was gonna be a good one. So stuffed animals are two for a dollar or fill your own bag for five dollars. So I'm gonna see what we got. First up we got Crush from Finding Nemo. I guess this is the original Crush. Oh, it says yeah, Disney Pixar, Disney Store. So this is probably worth like I don't know, 10, 12 bucks or so plus shipping. Uh, oh here's a well who's this guy? Is this Flounder? The tags are cut off, but I'm pretty sure that would be pretty sure that would be yeah, there's a Disney tag on it right there. So I'm gonna get that. That's a dollar for those two. We got a Dora, Dora or Dora backpack boots, pillow pets. Okay. That shark's pretty cool. That's just a little too big to ship, I would think. There's this monkey guy. This is a Build a Bear workshop. Build a Bear monkey. That's for. Sh that's probably worth. I think it might be missing the tag, but that's probably worth like tw twenty bucks. Yeah. Let's try one. One more. Oh, Eeyore. Oh, his tail. It's got, I think, I think in the, I think, yeah, I think it comes off on purpose because it comes off in, in the movie or books. It's got some stains, but I think that'll come off. Did it hook back on? Yeah, it's like Velcro. That's cute. So I get, I get these four for sure. It's two bucks for all these. That was a really good trip into Miracle Hill Thrift Store. Now we're going to head right across the street to Ben Time, which is the Amazon Overstock store. And we got a hole in it. Two dollars, right? Is that what it was? Yep, two dollars. Yep. What's this? Do you recognize this? Rosh Racing? Yeah. I'll get that. this? Nah.
So I've been digging for about 20 minutes or so. We've only found like three things and nothing is really good. This place is pretty picked over, but I will say it's bigger than Dream Deals in Columbia. And also they have other items that are back here that are not uh, like $2, like regular price. They've got furniture, they've got, was that antifreeze or something? They got a big fireplace, 129 bucks for that. So it's definitely different than Dream Deals, but uh, I'm not really finding much. It, it, I, I like the bin system here. The bins are a little bit wider and easier to dig through. They're not quite as deep. Um, but I think that makes it harder to find deals. I think that the good stuff is easier to find quickly, which makes it, you know, getting here after they open and on $2 a day, you're not really going to find much. Hey, what'd you find? I don't know. I feel like I found some good stuff, but um, I don't know. I thought about that last time, and you only got like two things on. Okay, well, let's take a look. We could just get this for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. That's only it's a two dollar champion. Yeah. Same with um, agave nectar. I don't know if it's open oh, or yeah. not, but. Um, that stuff's expensive. It is expensive. So there's colloidal silver. Reagan does that stuff. Oh yeah. I didn't know Let's see if Reagan wants it. Walking Dead. If this was sealed, I'd get it, but not sealed, I'm probably not gonna. Okay. Um, Supernatural complete fourth season. That's probably good. Not really. Oh, Control Freak. These are good. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you getting it. Yeah, that's awesome. What is that? You got that stuff before. Oh, that's kind of open. So. Yeah, I think it's like a meal. Or no, those yeah, are bars. Protein, protein bars. Vegan protein bars. Um, just because it's not closed, I don't know. And the barcode's covered up. Okay. What is this? Are these for you? Maybe I'll get these for me. Yeah, those are for me. Maybe I'll get this for me. Okay. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, these are good. 20, 20 to 25 bucks. That's good. Um, this is probably not. I just saw the so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Another one of these. Just found this Microsoft Windows Home 10 64-bit. It looks legit. Everything's still sealed on it. Two bucks. I'll take a chance on that. Also, earlier I found this Don Joy Art Rival uh, shoes things, inserts. Those look pretty cool. Two bucks. Take a chance. All right, so we're taking a little bit of break from thrifting. We're back at Reagan and Wesley's house. We're gonna eat some lunch and gather our energy to hit at least one more thrift store later on in the afternoon. But I listed this thing I got at uh, Ben Time, this Microsoft Windows 10 edition, still sealed. I took a picture of it on the floor in Ben Time and listed it on eBay and it sold pretty much immediately within like 10 minutes or so for 29 bucks free shipping it's gonna go first class probably cost like three dollars and fifty cents to ship so I spent 36 bucks or like, I think like forty dollars after tax on everything I got today and I've already made a profit of like what 22 23 bucks or so just on one item so now I'm super motivated I want to take some more of this stuff inside Reagan and Wesley's house here and get it listed to see if we could actually make a profit before we even finish thrifting for the day so we're sitting here hanging out in the living room and I was listing some stuff using the rug as like a backdrop and I listed those control freak ps4 uh, thumbstick things and they sold for $14.99 free shipping so 
with these plus the window software that sold, I think we're in the profit so far. We had lunch, we're filled up and ready to go thrifting again. We're gonna head to a Goodwill or something. I don't know, let's go find some deals. <laughs> I got that horn at the Amazon place. They hate it. All right, we are at Goodwill in, where's this? What, Greenville? I think we're in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, I think I've been to this location once and they asked me to take off my backpack. So let's see if we can just walk in here super confidently and avoid any confrontation. Do -do. Should probably get a buggy. I see some brooks. Haley, you missed these. Brooks goes 10. A little worn, but I think they're good. Got some SAS. Mm, I'll pass on those. Some Saucony Everrun Ride ISO. Oh, these got some rips in the toes. Georgia boot. Yeah, these look. Yeah, those are women's Georgia boots. Steel toe. So that's six and a half. Those are cool. I think these will be $8.50 since they're boots, but steel toe in good condition. I think it's worth it. Got some custom boots up here. Are they hand painted or like? I think they're supposed to be flames. Yeah. But What's are they better, hand these or mine? They're hand painted. <laughs> yeah, that's rugged. I don't know the brand. Oh, we got some Uggs. Look here. Men's Uggs. Well, worn, but no, nothing major. Need a little bit of cleaning, though. I'll grab those. So I got some Danskos right here. I don't usually pick up Danskos if they are, like, worn on the edges, but other than that, these are in really good condition. Got a little bit of heel wear. Ah, maybe too much heel wear. Yeah, I'm going to pass on those. Four ninety nine. That was five ninety nine. Okay, wait. Let me see what this is. I think I'll look over there. So it's a rock band kit. So this is a rock band guitar. This is a rock band mic, and this is the rock band drums. That's the whole kit. So that's four ninety nine. I don't no, know what. Uh, yeah, I'll take a chance on that. We'll just shove it in the car. If it works, I think I have a game for it. If it works, I can probably get like a hundred bucks for everything. Well, there you go. One more. What'd you find? A mirror. Mirror and, and some wicker. And make a candle and that. And then... That's cute. Good finds. All right, you guys, so we are calling it a wrap for today. We didn't do a ton of thrifting. I think we went to three stores altogether, but we found some really good stuff. That rock band set, as long as it works, uh, I should be able to test it. Uh, that should be pretty good. So we're gonna head back and start fresh tomorrow. If you guys like this video at all, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. It really helps me and the channel out a ton. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to this channel for more content just like this. Thank you guys for watching. You're the best, and we'll catch you on the next one.